Glenn McGrath celebrates his 500th test wicket. He gets... Oh, it's in the air. from Ricky Ponting. A good centre of that, a fantastic knock, just when his team needs it. Walter Giles. Ah! Tucked away to the next side, that's it. Ashley Giles has done it, England have won the match. They've gone home by three wickets. Ah! That's a beautiful stroke with which to make him main Test century. Hi, Heels here outside the SCG, which will be hosting the finale to the most anticipated test series for 50 years. It's almost a year now since those famous scenes at the Oval where England finally exercised their demons of 16 years of torture in Ashes contests at the hands of Australia. This in January too will be a mass of fans, English and Australian alike, forcing their way into this great ground. Only 40,000 can make that trip, give or take a few Barmy armies, I'm sure. But the lucky ones, they'll be at home watching Nine's coverage. January might seem a way away, but it's a long trip from England to Sydney, and the Pommies have a few stopovers in between. It all kicks off in earnest at the Gabba in Brisbane, November 23rd. Traditionally a happy hunting ground for the home side, England hasn't won there in 20 years, and they've been on the end of some belting since. Oh, what a shot. That's a red Oh, careful. And he's in trouble. Oh. He'll certainly be out. Oh, he's dropped it. Oh, Kevin. Ah, yeah. Oh, he's got him. He's gone. He's gone for a pair. They falling in a heap is this England batting lineup. Yep, this will be out. This is the end of the game. Warren gets a wicket. They bowled out for 79. Australia win by 384. That's a big win. From there, we head south to the picturesque Adelaide Oval for the second test on December 1. It was the Adelaide Oval where Bodyline became an international incident in 1933, where the junior war brother broke into the Aussie side and then broke English hearts with a century on debut, and where Glenn McGrath took one of the greatest outfield catches ever. One has a chance in the outfield. Oh, and what a very good catch. That's a terrific catch there. We then trek across the Nullarbor to Perth for the third test on December 14th. The Poms' only victory in Perth was in the late 70s. The Aussies have smashed them ever since, clinching the ashes there last time in just under three days. Oh, that's going a nasty one. That's nasty. Got him. Knocked him over the full pitch. So for Stephen Warren, the Australian side, they wrap up the ashes. Third test match at the Wacker. Back across the country we travel for the biggest occasion in Australian sport, the Boxing Day Test at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Come December 26th, more than 90,000 people will cram into the People's Ground, home of the first ever test match in 1877 and site of so many defining moments in the history of the Ashes. Got him. Second time. Just three days after the Boxing Day test, we're here for the grand finale, the Sydney Cricket Ground. 
Usually, history tells us that the series has been decided by the time we hit the Harbour City, but there's never a shortage of drama and emotion on the field and off. From Darren Goff's hat-trick in the fading sun. Darren Goff. Got it! Got it! Well deserved. A magnificent delivery from Darren Goff. To the record equaling knock by one of Australia's favourite sons, the Sydney Cricket Ground has seen it all. One ball remaining. Steve Waugh on 98. It's gone for it. There it is. Great moment in the history of Australian Test cricket. From the 2nd of January until the 6th, this has got to be the best seat in the house. Now the action doesn't stop with the final ball of this fifth test, because with Nine's cricket coverage, you're only halfway. The cricket show will also be back as a staple of the lunch breaks throughout the test series, along with the special prime time edition leading into the first test at the Gala. On January 9, Australia and England meet again under lights in the world's most exciting form of cricket, 2020, as the SCG hosts its first international. Then on January 12, the One Day Series kicks off in earnest. Australia, England and New Zealand crisscrossing the country in 12 prelims and a best of three final series. Boy, and he's got him, it's beautiful bowling. That is outstanding bowling. Brett Lee has done it again. And it all culminates as we name Australia's most outstanding cricketer at the Allen Border Medal, Australian Cricket's Night of Nights. With less than five months before the first ball is bowled, there are so many questions, so much anticipation and speculation about the only thing we can all agree on is, it's definitely on.